Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Hubbard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Liftlands, which is a sideways scrolling city building god game. We play as a new god, we're learning how to god, and it's our job to help our followers grow and develop from a bit of a primitive society all the way through to the heights of a mighty, mighty empire. And along the way we can do godly things, we can pick people up and move them around, we can shape the world, we can perform miracles and rituals, but at night time everything changes, because with the darkness come evil creatures that we have to fight off, which all sounds very dramatic indeed. Now this is the demo of the game, it's on Steam right now as I record this, and as always if you're interested there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description so you can go and check the game out a little bit more and also have a go at the demo if it takes your fancy. But anyway here we go, let's get on with it shall we? Time to dive right in and get godding. Okie doke, here we go. So what do we have going on right now? Not very much at all by the look of it, it's all very peaceful and quiet, which is great that that's lovely, but it doesn't really give us very much to do. So I think maybe we might need to do some sort of godding here to get things started. There are some trees in the background, got a little bit of water in the foreground, could be a river, a pond or something, I'm not quite sure. And then along the ground here, we've got a rock, there's another rock there, there's a little bit of grass, some sort of berry bush type thing, a pile of rocks there, some sort of other planty thing, and then a couple of other bits of grass, oh and then a tree. There's a tree just there because that lights up when we put the cursor over it. So there's not that much going on here either. However, up in the corner, we do have a ticking clock. And a ticking clock means, of course, that time is passing, which I think means right now we have to ask a very important question. Is Spacebar pause? And no, I don't think I can confirm that Spacebar is pause. I've pressed Spacebar and time is still ticking by dearie me game. I mean, it's only a demo. They'll get that sorted out for the final version. I'm sure they'll correct that fundamental error and Spacebar will be paused. But yeah, for now, if we do want to pause the game, we're going to have to press the pause button up there like some sort of pause peasant dearie me. Um, okay, this thing here says you can collect resources by dropping them on the altar in the centre. But we don't have an altar in the centre game. We don't have an altar. That thing does light up a little bit. When we put our cursor over it, it does kind of light up a bit. Are we supposed to click on this? Is that what we're supposed to do? Do we need to do some godding on a pile of rocks? Um, there's a bird. Hello, bird. Did the bird just... Did the bird just do a drive-by pooping on this pile of rocks? <laughs> I clicked on the bird by means of saying hello. Um, it's that there. Oh, we can pick it up and move it around. Oh, I think it's feathers. Oh, I think we just got some feathers from the bird. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, I mean, yeah, do we click this? Are we supposed to click that? Is that what I'm getting? Ooh, okay, ah, right, yes. That looks like quite a positive thing. There's a little fire and there's a proper altar. Oh, hello. There's, there's little nudie people. <laughs> hello, little nudie people. You've come for a dance around the little sort of campfire altar type thing. Oh, that's quite exciting. Hello, how are you guys? And we can collect resources by dropping them on the altar. So those feathers we picked up, if we put them into there, ah, they've appeared over here, right, so we've got one lot of feathers. Um, I assume that's food, hang on, berries are food. How are you for berries? So if we drop that in there, there we go. We have one food, attack incoming. Uh, oh, that's not great. Hang on, click on the bird again. Yay for feathers. Okay, we've got some feathers, everybody. Um, how do we deal with the attack? Hang on, what else does that say? When you get resources, they can unlock new buildings. Select buildings in the menu and place them where you want. Okay, so that's our kind of build menu thing. That's fine. At night, your villagers will worship you. Collect their faith by pressing on the bubble above the altar. Okay, so at some point, a little bubble will appear and that'll give us faith points. Okay, that sounds quite good. When you have enough food, click on the altar and then attract wildlings to get more followers. Attack incoming. I don't feel like we're ready for an attack yet. Um, yeah, something over here was coming to attack us. It looked like, I mean, it looked a bit like a goblin. It had a little kind of, you know, a green skin, kind of, you know, slightly grumpy looking face. Um, it doesn't appear to be attacking us yet, which is okay. Click on the altar. So if we click on that, Assign workers to make them gatherers. Place resources in the building to add them to the inventory. Oh, hang on. Do we have to assign people to the building? So if we pick you up... Hello. <laughs> You've got a happy face. If we put you there... Ah, there you go. Oh, you pop some clothes on, Harrison. Okay. So if we put you both into there... Ah, so Peyton and Harrison are now both working here. Oh, and they're both having a fight with the... Yeah, it looks like a goblin. 
it looks like a goblin of some kind. Yeah, they've both popped clothes on of Peyton and Harrison. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's that's quite good. Well done. You didn't have to. Yeah, we were okay with you enjoying a more sort of liberal lifestyle, but that's fine. You pop a little kind of pop a little kind of bit of clothing on. Uh, skill points available. Click here. Ooh, okay. We get a fancy upgrade, do we? Uh, that's lift up heavy rocks and enemies. Oh, it's kind of our. It's a new power that we can have. Oh, this like a god power thing. Okay, so lift up rocks and enemies. That could be quite good. Heal characters. Now, me do that seems quite useful because Harrison looks like they're taking a bit of a kicking. So if we could heal them up, that would help us defeat the goblin there. Instantly grow or regrow plants. Okay. Uh, revive characters or call down a lightning bolt and do a lot of damage. Okay, so smiting effectively. I think right now, let's go for that. Let's get the heal character power, please. And then how do we do that? Harrison, how do we heal you? Oh, down here. Down here, there's a thing. So if we click that and click Harrison, Harrison is now healed. Oh, there's a little profile for Harrison. Ah, the goblin is running away. Okay, cheerio. Oh, yes, and now they're assigned to this thing. Now they're assigned to the altar. They are gatherers. Okay, click on the bird. Oh, yes. We caught the feathers before they hit the ground. Go us and our god powers. Um... Oh, new recipes. <gasps> Things are appearing. Things are appearing. Okay. Uh, so we've got a house. Okay. Increases the max population. Has no workers. Oh, more things are appearing. Carpentry. Uh, like a little workbench type thing. A lumber mill. A mine. Oh, crikey. Okay. A wall. Um, Right. We are picking up quite a few things. Maybe a house would be quite a good start. Uh, increase the maximum population. I mean, where do we put a little house? Oh, that's quite nice. Like a little sort of tent type thing. Let's put it there so it doesn't blat the um, the sort of grass there. Uh, so when you've dropped that off, do we then have to pick you up and put you onto that to turn you into a builder? How do we build this? I'm not quite sure how we go about building this thing. It's not built because it's sort of a bit greyed out and it's got the sort of ingredients across the top, if you like. Yes, look at us catching feathers. Oh, they've brought food back as well. Oh, hang on. Was it three? Three food? Oh, now it's five food. Oh, botherations. Okay, never mind. Um, grab wildlings and put them on the altar to make them your followers. Yeah, we've kind of worked that out already, game, but that's fine. Thank you for telling us a bit late. Protect the villagers and grow stronger. That's all for now. Remember, this is an early demo, so you can help shape the game. Yes, of course. Let's remember that it is a demo. Okay, right. Low on food. Oh, that's probably not good. Where can we get some food? Where can we get food? They've gone. <laughs> where have you gone? Come back. We can't see where you are. One of our followers has wandered off. They've brought back some sticks. Okay, I'm going to assume that's good. I don't really know. Um, right. What can we do here then? What can we do? Can we upgrade? No, we've got any wood. We haven't got any wood. I don't know how to build the buildings. Unless... We have to build the carpentry thing first. Workers will fetch materials for buildings under construction. So maybe if we put that there and then take you, for example. So Peyton, you can go and work over there at the little workbench thing. So Peyton, we click on you now. You're still a gatherer. Oh, OK. Priority food. You can tell them what to go and grab. That's quite good. I don't know how they build things. <laughs> or are you going to bring stuff back over here now? Are you going to pop it into there? No. No, you're not. We've got enough to build that, I think. We've got, oh, hang on, new recipe. There's a bird and grab... Ah, oh, I missed it that time. Uh, took me off the ball. Uh, we've now got a bear... Ah, a berry bush and some grass. Okay, that's quite handy because, yeah, we are running low on food. Uh, there is another attack incoming. Another kind of uh, grumpy looking goblin. Uh, and now they're doing some worship. This is lovely. Thank you for the worship. But how do we build things? <laughs> how do we build things? Workers will fetch materials for buildings under construction. I don't know how to build things, game. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Uh, oh, click the thing. Ah, okay. When we click their little kind of worship bubble things, we move toward the next level, where I assume we get to pick another one of these. Okie dokie. Right, I see. So we'll have a bit of that. Right. I sort of see how that works. I don't know how to get them building, though. 
I'm not quite sure. Maybe we need more people. Maybe we need more people. There is a goblin here, guys. We're going to go and deal with the goblin. There we go. Right, so you fight the goblin. Oh, yeah, what do we need? Five food. Uh, I mean, how are we going to get five food? We've only got one right now. There is one. Oh, hang on. We can get another bit there. Pop that in. Okay, so two bits of food we've got. We need another three to then summon some more people in. And then maybe... Oh, hang on. Hang on. That's just grown back. That's now up to three food. Um, yeah, maybe when there's more people, they will do the building work. Right, Harrison, you back off a little bit, Harrison. You back off. And, no, Harrison, I, I admire your keenness, Harrison. But no, back you get Harrison, we'll heal you up. There we go. You're welcome. Now you can just get involved in the fight. I mean, what happens if the goblin, like, does the goblin drop anything if the goblin is defeated? The other one ran away. So the goblin is taking a bit of a kicking. Okay, the goblin is dead. Sorry, goblin. Uh, we shall have your thing. Thank you, your worship. Uh, it doesn't look like the goblin drops anything. It doesn't look like they just kind of vanish into nothingness. Okay. Right, so we're not quite up to level two just yet. We're not quite up to level two. They are quite happily just gathering things. But I don't know how to make them build. <laughs> right, we need another couple of bits of food. Um, oh, no, oh, but now they've gone to eat the food. <laughs> um, right. Okay, maybe... Do we need another power? What was that one? Grow... Ah, we can instantly grow plants. Okay, maybe what we do is we pick that power up. We use that on the berry bushes every time. And we just keep grabbing berries. That's what we'll try and do. Yes, caught to that time. Still got it. And um, yeah, if we could bring back food... That would be brilliant, everybody, because, yeah, we are running a little bit low on the old food. Um, but other than that, I don't really know what else we can do. Uh, there's, like, water drops there. Where do we get water from? I'm not entirely sure how we get water. But, yeah, these sort of planty things require water. I mean, a berry bush would be particularly good. We found... Oh, it needs five, like, manure, I assume that is. Oh, I've just... I've just clicked a button. I just clicked the manure... And it's gone. Okay. <laughs> where did it go? I don't know where it went. I've clicked a button and something bad might have happened. Oh no, you're picking it up. Um, Harrison is picking it up. And has put it over here. Hang on, what if we click? I'm going to click a stick. I'm going to click. Oh no, it just drops out here. Oh, I see. I see. Right. I thought maybe clicking it meant they took it to a, like a build site or whatever. But no. Okay, never mind. Um... I don't really know what else to do at the minute. We need some more food. <laughs> we need some more god powers. We need to make the food grow back. So at the moment, we can't really do very much. I mean, they're very happily just sort of gathering things. And they look you know, particularly jolly about it. But you know, I don't think there's anything that we can do. Low on food. Yeah, you're telling me. You're telling me. Where's a person? We'll wait for them to come back and we'll... Try and put them onto that again. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Give them some food. Okay, there you go. Right, they've eaten some food. Um, yeah, can you go onto there, please? Peyton is still just a gatherer. What if we put you on that building? What if we put you there? You're still just a gatherer. <laughs> how do we build? I don't know how we build the buildings. I'm not entirely sure. Do we have to... Hang on. Do we have to do this? Do we have to... Oh... We have to put the things in, do we? Oh, well, there we go. Right, I thought they did the building, but no, we do the building. Okay, right, and we're... Up. Oh, hang on. When we go up levels, we can see more of the world around us. There's a bird, catch the leaves, uh, the leaves, the feathers. We're very good at that. Right, okay. We now have a little house and... Oh, there's a deer over there. There's a deer... Not much in the way of berry bushes, though, unfortunately. But there is a deer. There is... Oh, there's an attack incoming. Oh, dear. Um, there's two. Two attacks. However, we have got a skill point to spend. Is it worth lifting up an enemy? Could we... Do, oh, no. Do we get the regrowing thing? We'll get that. And that means... Can we then start regrowing that bush? Ah, ha, Right, yes. So we can stock up on food that way. As soon as that cooldown is done, we'll just use it on the berry bushes and just top up on our food. Uh, we are going to get attacked by 
two goblins, one on either side. So we might have to deploy our magic healing powers. But that also has a cooldown. But yeah, we'll leave it for now. Until somebody's you know, quite badly hurt. Uh, we'll take all the sort of faith experience. Thank you very much. Attack incoming. Okay, there's a bird. Grab the feathers. Yes. Uh, right. They're coming in from either side. I don't know how we're going to deal with this. Right, they're fighting one on one. Okay. So, when one of them is a little bit injured, they seem to be sort of fairly even. They seem to be quite even. So, with that in mind, to give us a chance to kind of recover this and for the timeout to go, let's heal you up. So, Peyton is now back on full health. And hopefully, by the time that's then cooled down, we can heal up Harrison and they can finish this goblin off. Or they can at least, you know, sort of hold them off until daylight comes. That's what I think we should do. Right. Okay, come on, Harrison. Just just hold on in there, Harrison. There's not long left. And anytime you like. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, and boop. Heal, Harrison. Okay, right. So they're both going to be okay. They're both going to be okay. I don't know if the goblins are going to be defeated or if they're going to run away. Because uh, I think they probably go away when it gets to daytime. So yeah, a couple of good hits on them. I think we'll do it, though. A couple of hits. Yes. There we go. Right, both the goblins are gone. Um, now I think, what do we do with this? Um, they'll fetch materials for buildings under construction. Oh, so now can we assign a person to go into that? So Peyton, could you now go... <gasps> yes, Peyton is now a little kind of builder person. Okay, that is very good. That's very good. Um, so if we wanted to get, say, a berry bush, if we wanted a berry bush, say, uh, just there you're then going to run off and get the stuff we need oh that is very good we are low on food yet yeah, that seems to be a permanent state of affairs there's some like rock stuff there bit of water there click on the bird grab the lamb missed them that time botherations um any berry bushes over there no i don't think so um but yeah we've got feathers and it's yeah possibly the manure and the the water? Where do we get the water from? There must be something over here. There must be a spring or something over there where they're getting the water from. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, look, Peyton's coming back with the water. Okay, right. But there we go. So you can work on that. Um, I'm waiting for the berry bushes to sort of replenish a little bit. And then we can use that again to maximize its ability. But they don't seem to be topping back up right now, which is a little bit of a shame. Oh, no, that one's done. Okay, so take berries off that. Use that, top it back up again, immediately take berries off and put that there. So we've got three food. So now we need that to refresh again and that thing to sort of uh, top up with berries. And then we could potentially attract some wildlings. Okay, okay, that seems quite difficult to get five food. I swear I said three earlier. I swear it said three before, but there we go. Um, yeah, we can get two more people in because we've built a little house there. So I think, um, yeah, that means we can get some more people in. I mean, is it worth building another house? Can we get another house in somewhere? Um, it'll go on the grass, but we've got plenty of grass. So do you know what? Yeah, build that there, please. We will we'll do the job. Don't you worry, everybody. Right, so now we can have up to six people. Um, okay, can we get <laughs> can we get some more berries on these trees, please? Because they're going to go and eat the stuff in a minute. And then we're going to get attacked. We don't seem to have enough food to summon more people. I need some more food. More berry bushes, please. Um, okay, click on the bird. Grab the leaves. That's great. You've put the water in. We've got the leaves should be in here, I think. And then you're bringing some of the some of the manure. Right, you've eaten some of the food. <laughs> right, hang on a minute. That's nearly, that's nearly a cycle round again. Um, okay, so put that there. Take the berries off. Put them there. Why are these not coming back? Bring bring more berries back. Why can you not grow back pesky berry bushes? Um, right. But maybe if we can just hold on, if he can bring back one more piece of manure from off in the distance over there. Oh, botherations, there's an attack incoming. Again, one goblin apiece. Okay, we'll do what we did before. Hang on. I think he dropped it. He dropped some of the um the manure in on that thing as he went by. Okay, well done. Good job, Peyton. Uh, they're doing some worshipping. We shall take your worship points. Um, okay, right. Well, we'll just let time sort of tick on until the 
goblins, you know, assumed goblins, come in and attack us again. And then we'll see if we can hold them off. But I think we should be able to. There's some berries on that bush, finally. Thank you for bothering to grow some berries, bush there. Um, and then, um, yeah, we'll try. Hopefully when that bush is up and running, we should then be able to get some more people in. But here we go. Let's go and deal with the fight. We'll do what we did before as well. We'll just sort of heal them up when the time is right. Um, oh, you're both coming over here. No, one of you go over here, look. There we go, look. So you can fight a goblin apiece. Um, yeah, and we just do what we did last time. We shall heal somebody up. I think maybe Peyton might be looking a little bit worse off right now. So, um, yeah, we'll heal Peyton up. And um, that should then... Sort of, we'll do it now, actually, look. So, boop, there you go. Peyton is back on 100 health. And that means that Harrison... Harrison should be able to defeat that goblin. And then maybe you can run over here and help Peyton fight that one there. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, this is all going to be fine. So, oh, we'll take that as well. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, we'll just let them do the fight. And then we'll come back when it's all done. And hopefully come back when that berry bush is done as well. And we can finally get some more people in. Because it's quite tricky with just two. So if we could get some more people in, that would be wonderful. Okay, the berry bush is done. But now I think it has to grow. I think it's got to now grow. It doesn't sort of appear fully formed. It is now growing out of the ground. So again, there might be a little bit of a wait for us to get up to the five food we need to get some more people on board. But we are getting there, slowly but surely. Uh, yeah, if we could just get this power replenished a bit quicker, if that could just sort of cool down a bit quicker, we could summon a bit of food from these two things eventually. One of them will grow back normally, I think, and then you know, create food on another one. And that would give us the five food we need. So, um, oh, okay, but now you're going to go and eat some of the food. Okay. <laughs> Right, now we need more than five food again. Okay, right, okay, no, we need another three now. We need that to grow. We need that to grow. Okay, right, there we go. Oh, and it has. Okay, we will have that, thank you. And then, as soon as that power's cooled down, we'll use it on that one, because we know that has only just produced some berries. So let's use it on that one to get up to four. And then the moment one of these produces any kind of food whatsoever, hang on a minute, uh, click... And click, there we go, up to four. A suit, there we go, right. Okay, do the thing now. Do the thing that Attract a wildling. Right, a wibbly thing happened. And then, are we going to get some more people? Hello? Anybody want to come by? <laughs> Don't tell me that was all for nothing, because now our people might possibly starve. <gasps> no, there. It's another nudie person. We shall heal you up as well as we go. Hello, nudie person. Um, You can go and do some gathering for now. Uh, Jacob, you can become a gatherer. There is no food, Harrison. There is no food. I do apologise. We are struggling for food at the minute. We've got three berry bushes up and running. Maybe getting another one might be quite a good idea. Can we put it there? Yes. Okay, so our builder can go and sort that out. I'm a little bit concerned for Harrison because Harrison is hungry and Harrison might possibly starve to death a little bit, but it's okay, we shall muddle through. And um, right, a lumber mill. Ah, that's proper actual wood. And if we get wood, we can then do an upgrade of this thing. Okay, that might be a good idea. Click on the bird, get the feathers, caught them, brilliant. Um, yeah, let's do that, shall we? Get a lumber mill. Um, where can we put the lumber mill? Can we just, can we just sort of click there? No. Where can we put a lumber mill? Um, we can't put it anywhere, it seems. How do we get rid of trees? Harrison is starving. I know, give us some berries then, Gary. <laughs> there is an attack incoming, and one of our, two of our people are stuck. Right, there's berries. There's berries, everybody. Harrison, go and eat the food. Um, oh, there's four goblins. Now, there's four goblins, two from that side, two from that side. Okay, we're going to need to use our healing power thing, I think. That might well keep us alive. Um, yeah, there just doesn't seem to be enough food. There's not enough food around. Um, and yeah, I don't know where we build a lumber mill. I'm not quite sure where we can put one. Um, maybe we should have built one here, look, in a gap, rather than building the houses. Can we get rid of the houses? Can we destroy the houses? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Do you know what? We'll do that, look. And then get some berries on the go. Okay, we've got two food to feed the hungry people. Now it's just a case of making sure that people don't die. But I suspect we are going to be in trouble because we're outnumbered. We're now very much outnumbered. So I'm not quite sure who's fighting who and who's taking out who. But 
<laughs> oh dear, our people are starving and they're being murdered by goblins. Yay. Okay, take down a goblin from here, look. Take down a goblin. Okay, you are quite badly injured. You're more injured. Okay, so heal up you. Uh, oh, it healed them both up. Did it heal them both up? Oh, okay. I don't think it was supposed to do that, but it seemingly did, which is good. Right. Let's run time on a bit, shall we? And then... Oh, I wonder. Are we supposed to unlock the power to be able to move the big rocks? And then move the big rocks out of the way and build the lumber mill over here somewhere. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, okay. Oh, well, let's go and find out, shall we? Um, yeah, lift up heavy rocks. We will have that, please. So that seems... Oh, hang on, no, it's down here, look. Okay, so can we lift up, say, that heavy rock and, I don't know, put it over there somewhere? Can we now build a lumber mill in that little gap? No. No, we cannot. How do we build a lumber mill? Revive characters and then hit them with lightning. Um, how do we build the lumber mill, then? <laughs> I don't really understand. I don't, I don't get how we're supposed to do it. Can we move that rock out of the way? So put that rock over there somewhere. There's a nice gap there. Can we put a lumber mill in that gap? Uh, oh, potentially, yes. It'll get rid of... It'll get rid of a berry bush, though. Well, of course it will. Um, we might have to do it, because we need wood to do upgrades. And now we're low on food. Oh, good grief. Okay, put that there, look. Um, and then we'll regrow that thing. We'll get the food off that and put it... Oh, hang on. Pick up the berries. Put it into there. Pick up... Oh, you're gathering the berries already, which is brilliant. Okay, so back up to two food. What do we need to get another person in? Six food. Yeah, okay. We're a bit of a way off that right now. Uh, we'll heal you, because you're quite badly hurt. Right. Okay. So if we get a lumber mill in, we can then get somebody chopping down these trees which will then provide more space for us to go and build more things. I think maybe that's what we have to do now. I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh, hang on. There's more berries. There's more berries over there. Okay, and... Oh, that's where the water comes from. Ah, there is like a little kind of... Uh, little stream type thing. Wonderful. Right. Okay. It's sort of working. It's slowly getting there. Right, okay. This is fine. So if we get that lumber mill in... Hang on, we can build that ourselves, can't we? We can do that. Pop that in. Pop that in. Yay for a lumber mill. Um, we can also help out with the feathers on that. Can we not? Just drop the feathers in. Uh, drop a bit of the poop in. One more bit of poop required. You there. <laughs> you there, dear. Do you do your thing. Go on. Go on. Do your thing. Hang on a minute. We can... Oh, we can't quite use that just yet. We can't quite use that, but we can do in a moment and boop and get some food put it on there right back up to three food and that's now done okay so you when you finish doing that jacob you can go oh look at that you've put you've got a little hat on <laughs> you've got a little kind of lumberjack hat on you're going to now chop down some trees which will give us proper wood not just kind of sticks or whatever it'll give us proper wood and if we get four lots of wood we can then upgrade our altar to something a little bit better. Now, is it worth as well getting this set up? Can we build, say, that just there? Look, that could stop people coming in. So drop that in. No, it's twigs, isn't it? Not that. Oh, botherations. Put that in like that and that in like that. A little bit of a wall has appeared. Okay, that's quite fun. And if we get one on this side, say, just... Uh, move it over a bit. Say just there. Okay, very quickly do this. So a bit of that. Yes. And some twigs. Yes. Okay, so now a little wall has appeared. Got some worship going on. Thank you so much. Got entirely no food, of course, because why would we ever have any food? That hasn't appeared. Oh, but we have got the poop over there to sort out the bush. I think it's already done. We'll, we'll just store the poop. It's okay. I've just picked up some poop and moved it for you. Aren't I nice? We need to get those deer, really. They would be the better option. And then a mine, we can mine for stone. Okay, so yeah, maybe when you've cleared out room over here, we could then, uh, yeah, we could then get some stone mining going on. But I don't see where else we can put the thing right now. Um, okay, they're just sort of stopping at the edge. They're just... Hang on, hang on. 
Can we? I'll press space button to pause it, but no, it doesn't work, does it? Can we get you over here to do some fighting? Oh yeah, we can, but you're on your own. Ah! <laughs> get over there and do lots of fighting. These guys are taking a while to... Oh, they're taking da are they taking damage? Or is the thing taking damage? I think the thing might be taking damage. Right, so... Are you, are you all okay? Are you guys all good? I'm going to try and heal you all. That might have healed some of you. I'm not entirely sure. But take down this goblin as a team. And then you can work together to take down these ones. But that one has to go down first. Because then it's three versus two. Okay, right, here we go. So, choppity chop of the goblins. We shall replenish that. Food is coming in. Food is coming in. All of four food now. <gasps> Look at that. All of five food. One more bit of food. And we could possibly get another person in. Which would help with the whole sort of fighting thing. Let's just try to heal up you. Oh, the goblin ran away. Okay. Uh, right. So, do you fix that thing? Do you fix the spiky thing now? Is that your job? Are you going to go and fix it? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, new recipe. A tree. Okay. We'll plant a tree that grows and can be chopped down. Now we are talking. What did I just see just there? That looked like a proper field. That looked like a, a farm. Yes. Because now we've got wood, we can build different things. Workers will fetch water and poop and produce wheat. Okay. The only thing is, building stuff appears to be quite troublesome because things are in the way. Um, like over, oh, hang on, we can oh, we can build it there where the berry bush is. Well, of course. <laughs> Why is it where everything already is? Okay, let's wait for them to chop that tree down. If they get that tree down, that might help out quite a bit. How much actual wood have we got? Just one bit, one bit of lumber. Um, okay, right, that's fine. We can wait for a while. We will wait for a while. Oh, hang on. Put some sticks onto that. Onto that. No, I can't drop the sticks onto the thing. <laughs> I don't know. Onto that. No, it's not. It's not happy, is it? It's not happy. Okay, we'll wait for our builder chappy to go and do that. That can... But he's not doing that. Okay, I don't quite understand what's going on there. But okay, right, fine. We can't possibly repair that thing again. Never mind. Um, yes, could we... Could we could we chop that tree down and put a farm in the middle? Could we do that, possibly? We need a farm. We need to get some better food supply in. So, um, yeah, let's see if we can get a farm set up. Okay, if the farm's going to go here, it will demolish one of the berry bushes, which is a little bit unfortunate. So, we'll get rid of that one there, look. They've just... Oh, hang on. They took berries off that one. So, we'll get rid of the one they've just taken the berries off. So, uh, yeah, please put a farm just there. That would be lovely. We have got four food, but yeah, hopefully a farm will just make our food supply a little bit more consistent, which would be very handy indeed. Um, yeah, look, we are pushing the tree line back a bit. We're pushing the trees back all the way over there, so that's quite good. If we could get that in, that would be grand. Hang on, we can help with that, because we've got the poop. There we go. We now have enough for, the, for you to do the farming. So why don't, for now, Peyton, you nip into here and do some farming. Um, there you go. You become a farmer with your pitchfork and your farmer's hat. So you need water and manure. And we're low on food because, of course, we're hang on, pop that into there. Don't worry, we sorted the food out a little bit. And there's some food over there as well. So if we grab some water and put it there for... Oh, you've already got water. Bother. Okay, never mind. Uh, manure is what we're lacking. We are lacking manure. Oh, now there are six goblins coming in from each side. <laughs> Oh, crikeys. Okay, right. That could be quite challenging. Oh, the manure's gone in, but it's the water we need, is it? Oh, okay. That's produced... Oh, that's produced a big pile of food. Um, okay. That's produced... Oh, hang on. That's produced wheat. But then can we not do anything with the wheat? What do we do with the wheat? Is there not a thing that allows us to do something with the wheat? <laughs> I assume we don't just eat the wheat. Hang on. We'll gather all your points. Oh, up to level four. Okay, maybe a lightning bolt causing damage would be quite useful. That might be quite handy because we're going to get attacked by a lot of people momentarily. So yes, possibly striking them with lightning to take them down could be quite a handy thing to do. And you know, it's quite a goddy thing to do. Classic godding, that is. Um, okay, what if... Here we go. Let's take down you. Okay. Oh, we've got both of them. It got both of them. Okay, magnificent. So you lot can deal with these guys over here. 
And then eventually, when you are when you're done with those, they will have broken through there and we can come back through. But okay, right. This is fun. This is fun. So get this done, look. We shall heal up you lot. I think they're all healed, which is good. You're now going to run over here and fight them, are you? No, you ran away and then went back again. So there's two goblins out there being slowly chopped apart, which is great for us, not for them. Not so great for them. Being chopped apart, generally bad. We'll take that, thank you. And then, yeah, we can go and deal with you at the point where they're gone. But we've got, we've got this, we've got wheat. But I don't think we're eating the wheat because it's not an actual sort of consistent food thing. So I don't quite know what we can do with that. I'm not really sure what we do. Unless we need so much of it to do a thing. Oh, the goblin's kind of broken free. Okay. <laughs> ah, you're taking water to the farm, which is good. Right, so we've got another another lot of this. We need like a, a bakery or something. We need a thing. We need like a windmill. A lumber mill, a mine, a sawmill to make planks, possibly. I think we need a load of berry bushes. That's where all the food comes from. We just need many of these. Uh, we've got room just there. Let's pop another one there. We can't fit much just there. So we'll pop another berry bush just there and we'll help top that up as best we can. Um, it does need quite a bit of water and we haven't got that much water. Is there a water thing over here? No, but there are some berries. Lovely, yay. Um, okay, we'll see what we can do. But yeah, we are stocking up on the wheat, but we can't do much with the wheat right now which is a bit of a shame. Uh, you look quite badly injured, Harrison. We'll heal you up a bit. Um, okay, right, there we go. Well, hang on, grab that water. Put that into the berry bush. Because yes, I think we do need to keep on with the berries because we don't seem to have to eat that stuff just yet, which I don't quite understand, but we'll see what happens with that in a bit. Um, yeah, okay, right. Let's just keep things ticking over. Try and stock up on food. We have got, we have now got seven food which means we could, in theory, attract another person, which would help with the whole fighting goblins thing. But it is another mouth to feed. But then it's another person doing a doing a job, isn't it? Oh, what do we do? No, I think we leave it as three for now. Then we leave it as three. We've got the lightning bolt power thing. So we can take out some goblins. Yeah, we, we can help them out a bit. So I think that should be okay. So, right, let's try as best we can to get this thing set up. Um, you can get some food. I think maybe farming isn't required right now. Put you back into the altar. Go and do some gathering. Gather manure and other things. Or oh, more berries. More berries over there. Fantastic. A tree just fell down. Any more berries over here? No botherations. Bit of stone though. We'll take the stone. Okay, the next attack is incoming, but we haven't quite cooled down on our lightning power. So I'm hoping it cools down very, very quickly before the goblins arrive. I don't want it our own people. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Cool down. Yes, here we go. Right, and boom on you. It only got, ah, no, it got both goblins that side. Okay. So we've got this crowd coming in over here, which is fine. Heal up our people. Marvellous. Okay, I think we should be okay. We should be okay to muddle through. Um, I thought maybe there was supposed to be another goblin coming in, but I don't think there was. I don't think there was. Okay, never mind. Nope, that's fine. Hang on. Get some berries from there. We're up to seven berries. If we can get up to nine berries, then we can use our power here to refresh that bush. Oh, it refreshed both. It refreshed both. Okay, we're on nine. I think we can now attract a wildling and then have food left over. And that gives us another person to go and do some more stuff, which is completely brilliant. Okay, where's the new person? Okay, there they are. You can tell they're a new person because they arrive in the nud. Okay, right, what would you like to do for now? Go and do some gathering, please. That could be quite handy. Just go and do some gathering. It's all fine. Low on food, we'll be okay. Uh, gotta get that berry bush up and running. That would be quite good. A uh, bit of manure going in. One bit of water and one manure and that'll be finished. Oh, you need healing. Hang on a minute. Heal you, Harrison. You're a little bit injured there, but now you're absolutely fine. Um, okay, right. You're chopping down trees, which is good. So we are picking up. We have got eight uh, big logs now. Maybe it's worth upgrading our altar. Let's do that. So we can just drop all these resources right in. So yes, and uh, yes, in there. It just keeps popping it back. Oh, no. That's not, this is like flint or something. We're after proper stone. Oh, 
Okay, right. I hadn't realised that. That means we probably need to get a mine. Okay, where can we put a mine? Um, again, all of these things appear to be sort of in the way. I want to extend the wall a bit, please. But I can't do that. Ah, oh, bother. <laughs> where do we put a mine? Over. Oh, there's a bit of a gap over here. There's a bit of a gap. Hang on, we can move the rocks. Move that rock. Oh, bother. Oh, I didn't... I moved it and dropped it. <laughs> this is why I should be in charge of things. Right, hang on a minute. I've got some berries. Pop the berries onto there. Regrow those. So there we go. We've got enough food to feed everybody, I think. That's four food for the next day. Wonderful. Right, that power's back. Pick up that rock. Pop it back over there, look. Oh, it's going to stack up. And then... Can we build a mine? Yes, we can. Okay, pop the mine just there, please. We'll drag that in. And we'll drag the sticks in. And now we need... I mean, Harrison can do it. Harrison, you can get a new job. Go and become a miner. And there you go. You're going to hack apart the rocks. Marvellous. Right, there we go. Things are sort of working. Oh, and we've got that as well. So if we gather just four big, proper, chunky bits of rock, we should then be able to upgrade our altar... And then see what that does. I'm not quite sure what it'll do for us, but it'll do something exciting, I'm sure. And another berry bush is on the go as well, which is brilliant. So a little bit of extra food there. Okay, the nightly attack is underway. And I don't have the lightning power ready just yet. Come on, lightning power. Come on, the goblins are here. The goblins are here and I don't want to hit our own people. These ones here are a bit further away. So as soon as that's ready... Okay, boop. In the middle... That only got one of them that time. Okay, right. This could be a little bit of an issue. However, we could pick you up and just chuck you out of the way. I mean, do you take fall damage? No, you don't. But, hang on, can we heal up our people as well? Then we just healed everybody. Um, That does get you out of the way. And it's already sort of sort of, hang on, we can just pick up you and just put you over here. So that's just one goblin less attacking everybody, which might be quite helpful. Um... Yeah, okay, we'll do that on those bushes as well whilst we're here because we can. I think one of our people is going to go down. Jacob, Jacob, get back over here for now, Jacob. Get over here, please. Um, and we will heal you up. Marvellous. Samuel has died. Okay, we haven't quite got... We've got... Hang on a minute. We can pick up the revive thing. Okay, <laughs> let us revive Samuel. Can we... Okay, Samuel is... Okay, Samuel was a skeleton, and now Samuel isn't a skeleton again. Right, Samuel, welcome back, <laughs> I think, possibly. Um, are you okay? Are you okay, Samuel? Do you, do you need some time? You might need some time. Um, you are looking a little bit... You're looking a little bit lost there. Uh, we'll put you back as a, as a gatherer. There you go. Is everything okay? <laughs> Right, that didn't go very well. That didn't go very well at all. Um, yeah, it's really hard to build anything. It's really difficult. We have got all the main things in, apart from a sawmill. Um, but okay, yeah, we need just better. We need more things. More food, really. Just more food. Um, but yeah, okay, we'll use that. Yeah, low on food. You're not joking. We always are. How do we make use of this wheat? How do we do anything with that? I kind of feel like we need a sawmill to then... Oh, can we get a sawmill? Oh, they're very big. It can fit in that gap there, though. That'll do. So put some logs in. Get some of that in. Get some of that in. Okay, we have a sawmill. So maybe... Where's... Right, you. Don't chop down trees anymore. Take the three planks you've got. And, yeah, turn them into... Not planks. Take the three bits of wood you've got. Turn them into planks. And then maybe that will unlock... I don't know. Maybe that'll unlock, like, a bakery... And we can turn the wheat into... I mean, the wheat needs to be ground first, but whatever. We'll see what it does. When we get a plank, we'll get new things. So we'll see what happens. Um, but yes, it's getting a bit trickier now. Every single night is getting difficult. Because, of course, the goblins get more. And we are not getting more people because we are still struggling for food. Okay, a new recipe just appeared. What is that? Storage. Oh. Okay. So not... As I was hoping, some sort of like bakery or a windmill or something. How do we make use of the wheat? We've we've grown wheat, but we don't know what to do with it. We're just looking at it going, oh, great, wheat. Okay, what do we do with this? So I'm not quite sure what we do with it. What do, what do we do with the wheat? 
Um, there doesn't appear to be anything obvious. I mean, can we build a storage building just because it might be a fun thing to do? We'll go like that and say, yay. Okay, put some grass into it. That's okay. We'll put one lot of that into it. You might now need to go back and chop down some more trees, Jacob. <laughs> and you're running in reverse. Just showing off a bit there, but that's fine. Um, oh no, hang on. It's all done. They've put, we have got a storage building. There is now an attack incoming. Another four goblins on each side. Oh dear. Okay, right. Revival power on standby. Let's see how we get on. Although, we are now... got We've got four people doing the worship, so is that going to tick up a bit quicker? I'm not entirely sure. And do we get more powers? Or is that all we have in the sort of demo version? I imagine that's going to be about it. Right. Okay, let's run time on then until the goblins attack. And we will try to strike down more than one of them this time. Okay, here they come and strike at that one. And yes, it got rid of three of them. It got rid of three. Okay, perfect. So yeah, the lightning kind of persists. So you want to hit the one at the front and then the rest is kind of run into the lightning. Okay, right. That makes sense. Uh, we'll lift one of these goblins up and just sort of chuck them out of the way. Okay, so that gets you out of combat. We shall heal up our people. I think now they're all healed, which is good. Uh, right, okay. Keep the fight going. Take this one down at the back. Take this one out of the back, look. Because that's just getting in the way. Right, that one is gone. And now we can just pick on you guys. But yeah, we'll just take you out, look. You can just get thrown over there. Bye-bye now. So now it's four versus three. Now it's four versus two. We need to do some healing. Samuel, get back. Get back out the way, Samuel. I demand it. Right, there we go. The goblins have legged it. I think because we're going up more levels, the sort of borders being pushed back. So the goblins are finding it harder to reach us now because they have to run further. <laughs> so there's less time for them to sort of attack us, if that makes sense. Um, okay, we've got six food. But now, yeah, I don't know what to do with... I don't know what to do with some of the other things we've found. Like the wheat. I don't know what to do with the wheat. Um, oh, oh. A new recipe has appeared for some... What's going on? Why are these things appearing? Is it because we've made it to day 10? A windmill. Okay, workers will fetch wheat and produce flour. Okay, a forge, stone, water and wood to produce metal. And then we've got a statue. Produce a small amount of faith. Oh, automatically. Oh yeah, can we have a statue? Can we just pop a little statue down? I think we've got... Oh no, it's big. It's big posh bits of rock. It's big bits of rock. Um, oh, the altar did get upgraded, look. Oh, maybe that's why we've got the new stuff, because the altar has been upgraded. Ah, maybe that's the case. Okie doke, right, that's fine, that's okay. Um, hang on a minute, use that on those to get us some of that, thank you. Right, so yes, we've now got a forge to make metal, but I'm not so bothered. But yeah, a windmill would be more useful, because then we can have flour. And then, does flour count as food? We're going to put that there, because apparently it can fit just there. And it needs three, uh, three, ah, sort of planks. Okay, and I can't see what else it needs. <laughs> what else is it? Oh, three bits of actual rock. Okay, we can put that in. Two bits of that can go in. Um, have we got any wood, though? Is anybody chopping down any trees? Oh, there's loads of wood over here. Oh, absolutely loads of it. Yes, fine. Okay, so store that over here. And then you, which is, you're just running backwards now. <laughs> That's just what you do. You can now go and produce some planks again. And we're on four food. So everyone's got lovely berries to eat again. Mm -mm -mm, berries again for dinner. Lovely. Uh, yeah, we'll grab some of these berries as well because it's all useful. All food is good food. Grab some berries from there too. Put them into here. And soon enough, we should be able to replenish those two things and get them topped up with berries for another couple of bits of food. Boop, there we go. So yeah, we're up to eight food now, which is pretty good. And you can be healed up just before nighttime comes round and the goblins attack. Right, okay. Let's see then how long it takes us to get a windmill up and running. Hang on, can we just put some logs into there, please? Come on. Oh, it happens immediately, does it? Oh. Oh, okay. So we've got... Uh, have we got any other bits of wood? No. I don't think we have. <laughs> we had loads of it over here, didn't we? I thought we had loads of it. Okay, there is an attack incoming. 
Now there's five goblins from each side. Good grief. Um, okay, right. Let's wait until the goblins attack. We'll deal with the incoming attack. And then we will try to get this windmill up and running. We do need quite a few bits of tree. And we can't help with that. Our godly powers don't extend to uh, ripping up trees. It just doesn't work. So we can't do that, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, okay. Okay, it's fine. We'll wait until the morning and get that sorted out. But yeah, goblin attack incoming. So let's handle the pesky gobbos first. Okay, they're coming in from this side. Our lightning power is just about ready. Come on, come on, come on. And boom! And it got three of them, I think. I think it got three of them. Right, we need to heal you guys up over there because you're both quite badly hurt. And then we will just pluck one of these goblins up and just chuck you over there, look just to get you out of the way for now. Samuel, you are possibly going to die. So we'll just, no, Samuel, no, 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 no. <laughs> Samuel, no. Oh, you guys are gonna die. You guys are gonna die as well. Um, you're not looking very well. You're not looking very healthy. Oh, I've turned you into a different job. Um, okay, this is getting very hard, right. Heal you guys up, right, they're all healed. I think Samuel's in trouble, right, bring Samuel over here, look. All oh, join in the fight over, there's too many. There's that, that gajillion. We had like 10 goblins, but we have to sort of survive now. I think everybody is still alive. I don't quite know how Samuel's still alive. I don't know how that happened. Uh, also, we can now finish our um, little kind of altar thing over here. So we should now get a teeny tiny amount of passive faith, which is lovely. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but okay. They can go and worship that thing. Um, right. Who's doing what now? We have a lot of gatherers. Harrison, can you go at... I appear to have picked up some some wood. Okay, now this is this is fine. Yay for twigs. I want Harrison to go and chop down some trees, please. Harrison, can you be a tree chopping person? There we go. You go and chop down some trees, because that's going to be really handy. Um, and then we can get the logs turned into planks. Then we get the planks to make the windmill. And we'll see if the windmill can do something with this wheat that we are acquiring and not doing anything with. <laughs> We've just got like wheat piling up over here. We don't know what to do with it. So hopefully when the time comes, we'll have loads of this and we can just like produce much bread. And as I often say in games like this, if you have a little kind of settlement builder and you get to the point where you are then able to make bread, I always think that's quite a good thing. That's quite a good sort of landmark there, being able to make bread. Um, archery. Workers will shoot deer and enemies. Oh. Oh, that could be quite good. That could be quite useful. Can we get a little archery range set up over here? There's loads of room over there. Um, yeah, we'll try and work on that as well. But yeah, the bakery has got to be the big important thing. Let's get the bakery in first. And then we'll try and get some archers set up. Uh, that's if everybody survives the next attack because the attacks are getting harder and harder. We have got 10 food. I think maybe let's attract another person. We'll bring another person in because we are able to get quite decent amounts of food now. There's more berries over there. Look, just chuck them in. And soon, hopefully, we will have bread, which should help out quite a bit. There they are. Hello, new person. How are you? Um, come over here for now and, yeah, be a builder. Oh, no, hang on. Do you need to come over here and just have a dance around? Okay, now, go on. do we need to put you in here first? Okay, Alice. Hello, Alice. Right, Alice, you go and be a builder, please. You go and do some building work, because that would be magnificent. Little bit low on the old food, but we can get two back from replenishing those things at some point soonish. Um, and yeah, if we could get the archery thing set up, that means that they'll go and hunt the deer, which I imagine will provide quite a lot of food, which would be pretty good. Um, yeah, okay, right. Let's let them... Oh, hang on. How are they looking over here? There's some... Oh, no, put them into there. Put the planks into there. Oh, there's another attack incoming. We still haven't got the windmill sorted. Harrison is still moonwalking his way back to the middle. <laughs> you big show off. Okay, you're a bit injured. So heal you up. Okay, five goblins coming in on either side. Not great news. But uh, okay, we've got five people now. We shall try to muddle through as best we can. Okay, goblins inbound. There's quite a lot over here quite close to each other. So if we could just get our lightning power set up. Oh, we'll take that, thank you. Get the lightning power. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's nearly ready and not quite ready. We'll just do that, look. Okay, that took them all out. That took all of those goblins out. Okay, that was completely brilliant. And then we'll pick that goblin up and just chuck them incredibly far away. 
so they have to walk all the way back. So now we should definitely have the advantage. We'll just do some healing on our people. There we go. I think there's a couple. Oh no, there's three, I think. Now there's two goblins. But we should be okay now. We should be able to deal with the two. And then by the time they've been dealt with, the other one will come back in. And hopefully we should be able to defeat them as well. I mean, you know, even if they get back in, maybe it'll turn to daytime by the time they arrive. But there we go. Look, right, wonderful. That one is gone. And then it's just the one that we kind of chucked into the air a while ago. Okay. Oh, we'll take that as well. Thank you. Skill points available. Okay, we can't do much with the skill points, but we have gone up to level six, which is nice. There's a bird and we've still got it. Look, we can still catch the falling feathers. Right, heal up. Um, I assume did I heal up Samuel? Yes, I think I did heal up Samuel. Yay, okay. Right, the windmill is now working. Okay, so Jacob, who is, hang on a minute, it wasn't Alice. Oh no, Alice is now working in the windmill. Alice is working in the windmill, so we will help you. We will put wheat into the windmill. Okay, we're, we're putting wheat into the windmill. What's it producing? <laughs> the windmill is... Oh, flour. Okay, so now we've got flour. But that's still not bread. I mean, it, it's okay. It's better than nothing. But can, can we do anything with that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I thought maybe that would be the moment where we could start getting something else. Right, Joe, you know what? Let's concentrate over here then. You are bringing some logs in over here, which is good. Um, we've got nobody... Ah, botherations. Okay. You need to go over here and do some stone mining, please. Because now I haven't got any proper stone. Ah, oh, crikey. And we're low on food. Right, hang on a minute. Let me go and sort out all of the things. Oh, maybe it's bricks we need. Maybe we have to construct some bricks. And then with bricks, we might then get the bakery unlocked to turn the flour into bread. Maybe that's what we need to do. Okay, right. That's the next goal then. Get this thing done. And uh, we have got a little bit of stone. That's some twigs. I didn't mean to do that. Enjoy the twigs. Um, I meant to grab that stone just there and pop it in. But there we go. So we need one more lot of logs and then a couple of bits of stone. And then maybe we can get an archer trained, which would be quite fun. That'd be quite good. Um, and how many people have we got? Five out of six. We need eight more food, though. Eight more food to summon another person in. Or that would be quite useful. Uh, we can get up to six food right now, like that look. And I bet there are some other berries around. No, I bet incorrectly. There are no other berries around. Okay, never mind. Um, right, okay. All of you come back and, um, and yeah, go and grab something to eat. And then we shall prepare for another attack. This time, 12 goblins coming in. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> oh, now Harrison's moonwalking. Oh, it's always Harrison moonwalking. I'm not quite sure, but okay. Very stylish, very fancy. Okay, next attack incoming. Four goblins on that side, which must mean on this side there are going to be more. I would assume there's four there as well. Has the game let us off a few goblins there? I think it might have done. We will wait for them to all kind of gather in a pile because that worked quite well last time when they're all sort of clumped together. If we now go kablam with lining, it only gets the goblins. It doesn't get our people, which is quite handy. So, um... Yeah, okay, good stuff. And then we'll heal up our people. Splendid, there we go. Got four food as well. Can we just get this sorted out? There we go. That gets us up to, uh, what's that, six food now, so they can all have something to eat. And we are picking the goblins off, although Samuel seems determined to just you know, get themselves killed. They seem determined to just die. Samuel, you've got so much to live for, Samuel. Um, oh, crikey, people are, people are taking many hits, but... The daylight has come. The goblins run away. Harrison moonwalks them away. <laughs> Get out of here, goblins. <laughs> they just kind of vanish. They vanish. Okay. Right, we don't need whoever's here. Who's working there? I don't know who's working there anymore. Um, we need somebody... You've got you gathering wood. You are... Hang on a minute. What are you doing? You should be... Go and gather wood. We need lots of wood. You can gather wood as well. Go and chop down trees. Or not? Jacob. Are you okay, Jacob? Jacob needs a break. Okay, that's... I know everyone's moonwalking. 
Everybody's moonwalking everywhere. It is it is the way of things now. Um, Alice is currently stone mining. I didn't know we told you to do that, but that's fine. Um, yeah, let's maybe then. Uh, where is it? Stonemason. We didn't we didn't put one down already, did we? No. So yeah, let's get one of these in. Maybe put them just here. There's a gap just there. So pop them in there, um, and then that doesn't need those beam things. So we need just some more wood. We just need just logs. Okay, however, if we put that into there, and then we've got somebody doing some mining, grab the berries as we go past, does that mean that we can? Where's the mining person? Can we bring back... Ah, look. I'm oh, sorry, Alice. Hang on. I want to grab the rock you found. Can we bring that over and pop that into here? That's finished. Okay, we can turn somebody into an archer. Um, I'm tempted to have Harrison being an archer because he can sort of moonwalk toward them. Right, Harrison. Oh, he's gone full Robin Hood. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, right. Yep, yeah, that's good. Low on food. That seems to be pretty standard. Hang on. Just sort that out with magic. Splendid. Oh, and hang on. He's going to hunt the deer, isn't he? He's hunting the deer. And we've got a big pile of meat. What does that do for the food? It's two food. It's two food apiece. Oh, happy days. Okay. Um, you, what are you doing there? You're sort of shouting at it, but okay, you're making a funny face. All right, so the deer don't kind of vanish. They just kind of, they're forever there. Right. We Okay, we've got a decent amount of food now and we can get more. This is brilliant. Samuel is now moonwalking. <laughs> they, they should just do that all the time, just for fun. Um, okay, next big thing then. Let's get this up and running. Let us get the stonemason up, and then when the stonemason's done, maybe they can make a nice brick, and then when we unlock bricks, we might be able to build a bakery to then get ourselves some bread made out of the flour, and then I'll be quite happy with that. We haven't got any skill points to spend game. Stop tricking us. Uh, right, and yeah, there's an attack incoming, but yeah, we'll just muddle through. We'll hit them with lightning and take most of them out, and we'll do all this stuff. So uh, yeah, Let's just try now and do what we can to get this thing up and running. Okay, here we go. I think we're about to get the stonemason hut up and running. Wonderful. Right, okay. So, Jacob, you go from being a builder to a stonemason. Go and grab the stone. Is there a bit over here? I assume there is. Yep, there's a bit just there. Don't worry, we'll get this. We'll put the stone in. It's fine. We will help you. Right, so if we do that, look. Put two bits of stone in there. Oh, it needs nobody to kind of work it. Hello, Samuel. Um, right, so now we've got bricks. Okay, what can we do with bricks? I would assume, I was kind of hoping something might pop up when we've done that, saying, hey, well done, you've got bricks. Now you can do another thing. But no, no, I don't think that appears to be the case. I was kind of hoping that maybe it would say, yep, now you can build a bakery. But we can't do that, which is a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? Because we've got some flour. Just got some flour just sitting there and we don't know what to do with it. Although, to be fair, now we have an archer. The archer makes a ludicrous amount of food from just you know, hunting the deer. And we're up to 21 food. Got so much food because they just go to proper town. You know, they, get, they, they hunt them quite quickly and they generate two food each time. So they are doing a pretty good job of bring back lots of food. There's another bit there, look. There's just a couple of bits around. We have got another person, by the way. We did bring another person on board, and they're just a gatherer. They're just running around picking things up, just, you know, gathering things. I mean, you know, the meat, maybe, that we keep sort of getting now from these things. So, okay, I think then, what we will do is, we will wrap things up for now with our little look at Liftlands. And, you know, I do quite like it. It's quite charming. I like the way it looks. It looks very pretty. Your little characters are quite fun. And, you know, it's got that lovely kind of nice, consistent kind of way that it works. You know, in the day, you can do some building. You drag and drop your people about. They do jobs. You can help out if you like. I mean, you don't have to do anything, really. You don't have to kind of go and pick things up. We do, because it gives us something to do. But you don't have to go and do that if you don't want to. But yeah, you've got that kind of nice consistency there. And then at night time, you know that you are going to have to do some fighting. Hang on a minute. What is this? We've got some an inn makes food from flour and water. Okay, do you know what? I was going to wrap things up. But now, maybe, we get ourselves... Some food from flour and water 
it's bread. Come on, game, it's bread. Let's not beat around the bush. It's bread. Oh, another attack is incoming. <laughs> no, game, not now. I don't want this to happen now, game. I want to build a thing. I want to get bread. Bread is important in these things. Hang on, we, look, we can get it done. It's, we can do this now. Hang on. If we put flour in and drop some water in... <gasps> there it is. Everybody, we've got bread. We've done it. We've achieved the we've achieved the dream. We've got bread. Bread is worth three food points. Okay, that's magnificent. What else can we grow? A well. Build a well that generates water. Oh, okay. So instead of just having to rely on that just there, because currently that's our only source of water, we can now just, just build a well if we wanted to. Oh, but look. We've got bread. Okay, right. This is very good. So yes, I think now that we have bread somewhat unexpectedly, which is wonderful. Uh, yeah, we'll wrap things up for now. I'll we'll, we'll keep chatting away whilst we have this fight. But uh, but yeah, I think we'll finish things up. And yeah, it is very enjoyable. It's very enjoyable. It's only a demo. So, you know, some bits are a little bit rough around the edges. Um, yeah, the moonwalking is fun. I don't think they should get rid of that. I like the moonwalking people. That's quite good. But uh, yeah, I think yeah, maybe a time slider would be quite useful being able to move things on like this bit look i'm not doing anything now so being able to move time on there a little bit quicker would be quite handy but um but yeah overall it's it's really quite good fun it's quite a nice game it's got quite a nice sort of a, a nice feel to it we just jab them with lightning and you do get some decent god powers they are pretty effective like that lightning thing there is yeah, quite powerful it feels quite good to use that you think yeah do you know what don't mess with my people there you go, you little goblins. I've dealt with you. And you can heal up and such like. I imagine, you know, in the um, in later versions, there'll be a lot more things to do than these. There'll be many different things you can do. But uh, there we go. Away with you pesky goblins as well. So they can just clear off too. Um, so yeah, I think with that done, with our little settlement sort of looking okay, it looks okay. I think really the only thing we need to kind of perfect it, I would say, is a well. And we could get one of those done nice and quickly if we wanted to. But I don't know what, can we just put one in? <laughs> can we do that? Can we get, oh, we haven't got enough stone, I don't think. We haven't got enough stone to make the well. We would get enough stone to make the well and it could go just there. But there we go. So yes, I think we've had a pretty good look at the game to see what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll wrap things up for now with our look at Liftlands because I think we have sort of covered what the demo has to offer right now. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. We are going to be known as the Keepers of the the tea. Betty is very clever. Oh, she's very clever. It's Betty. It's the hat, I think. So let's injure you. So, oh, okay, or not. <laughs> Fine, don't injure them then. It's a no from us right now, Robert. But you know what? Have this tea. Take this tea away with you. They've kind of died a bit. Okay. <laughs> Look at all of the tea we've got going on. This is wonderful.